The stone was not an easy ordeal to go through, seeing that I didn't leave my home and the winds was very devastating. The winds were unusually high. I didn't expect it to be the way it was. Everything in the house was a total loss. The insurance was limited. FEMA didn't give me any help. And so that's where I am right now. Hurricane Ida, which was the third strongest storm that ever hit Louisiana, caused widespread damage throughout St. John the Baptist Parish. We're so grateful that Eight Days of Hope responded and they're here to serve our community. Eight Days of Hope 17, welcome to Laplace, Louisiana. We believe that you're here for a reason, maybe for reasons that you don't even understand yet. God called you here for a reason this week. It's not an accident or a coincidence. Hey guys, Steve Tiber with Eight Days of Hope. It's day number one of Eight Days of Hope 17. 1,500 volunteers from around the country serving families in Laplace, Louisiana in the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. And I'm here with a special new friend, Miss Lauren. Miss Lauren, your house flooded. There was wind damage. Today, 30 strangers you have never met from all over the country, they're putting on a brand new roof. They're working inside your house. What's going through your mind? Service, people willing to lift a helping hand to help their fellow man. That's what pulls this country together, people helping others. We're going to be here for the next seven days. You're going to meet some more of the families we're going to serve here at 8 Days of Hope 17. Day number three of eight Days of Hope 17 here in Laplace, Louisiana, hanging out with Mr. and Mrs. Pro. Mr. Pro, a couple days ago, this place didn't look like this. What was happening and what have the volunteers been doing for you? Shortly after the hurricane, we gutted the place. Uh, so there was nothing in the lower half of the walls except studs hanging out. So they come in, they put the sheetrock up for us, floating it, getting it all nice, getting ready to paint, texture. Thank you so much to all the volunteers serving in dozens and dozens of homes today on day number three. We're here at Regala Park. We have youth basketball and youth baseball. Our community suffered so uh, badly uh, during Hurricane Haida by having eight days of hope to come. Uh, now we can uh, have uh, people can come to the park and enjoy the park and you know, it's looking beautiful. The whole community appreciate uh, what eight days of hope is doing for it. This group has now completed 165 different projects. You now have helped 113 families, and as of today, we are working on our 22nd roof. Who wants to meet some families tonight? I think they're remarkable. They did a beautiful job on my roof. And uh, they just did everything so wonderful. And where we had despair, they brought hope to us. And it's just, they're just beautiful people, all of them. And I love all of y'all. Everything that they did, they just, they did it with, them, with their hearts. It was beautiful. And it's just, you know, you wake up one day and you, you know, hey, we're coming to your house. Who's this? <laughs> so, you know, they come in and they're just, they were amazing. I'm speechless. They, I, love, I love them. God bless y'all.
day number five of eight days of hope 17 hanging out with my new friend miss claudette miss claudette volunteers are putting on a brand new roof for you today blessing. what are you thinking it's a blessing you never give up hope no matter what you have faith in don't ever give up hope because hope is there for you i can't even explain what i'm going through right now i'm just just bursting with joy i, I can't believe people are out here in this world that has hope for people and love people and and donate things to help everybody is it's just wonderful our new friend miss claude at volunteers from around the country loving and yes. serving those in need and making a lifelong friend along the journey day number five it's going great today we were finishing up drywall and then um, we decided to buy a mower for the homeowner and uh, mow their lawn we're just here to help people and uh, show them the love of Jesus and uh, just help them out of this uh, situation that they're in and get their homes repaired. I love the fact that with Eight Days of Hope, it's just people from all over the place that are coming over and just saying, hey, we just want to help out and give back. Can't beat the attitude of the groups here who are just coming out of the willingness of their heart to serve. I'm really thankful for the help that I have today. Doing what these the, uh, Eight Days of Hope is doing for me. It amazes me because that gives me the opportunity to be able to walk into a place that I call home. Yeah, I'm here with Eight Days of Hope, and I am just so grateful for all the volunteers who've come from more than 42 states. We've had over 1,500 volunteers who've served and helped more than 100 homeowners help rebuild after the storm. Many families felt hopeless and overwhelmed because of the damage that was done due to Hurricane Ida. But we are so grateful for the many, many volunteers who've given sacrificial of their time to come and make a difference in our community. Therefore, on behalf of St. John the Baptist Parish community, I want to thank all of the volunteers for your sacrificial love. God bless you. As we come to the close of Eight Days of Hope 17, mm -hmm. we've met some amazing people like Miss Judy. You know, Miss Judy, when we were assessing your home, we saw the need was huge and the volunteers have showed up in mass. What kind of things did we do for you to help you rebuild your home? They came into this house, which was in complete disarrangement. They started wiring, which was something that was heavily on my heart. They came in plumbing, they came in uh, with drywall, they came in and told me about flooring. And I'm just, I don't have words to express really all that they have done for me in this house here. And one day I look at eight days of hope, it's beyond eight days. They're giving me hope for eternity. You too can be a part of eight days of hope. For more information about the ministry, go to eightdaysofhope.com. That's eightdaysofhope.com.